when we were on the phone, you were explaining that your mind works like an agent and a publicist. So, <laughs> yes. so as like a creative person, how much do you zoom out and look at the Emma Chamberlain brand from a macro perspective and craft it? it like how aware are you of what you're crafting with the brand itself, not with the individual, you know, you're creative directing a photo shoot or you're making a YouTube video, mm -hmm. like looking at the brand of Emma Chamberlain and strategically going, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this because that'll signal that. Like, what are you thinking about when it comes to the brand? My number one priority for me is integrity. It, it comes down to integrity. And there are things that, like, I do not do something that it doesn't matter. Money does not matter. Does not matter. I do not care. I, I, which is an absolute, I mean, that's a blessing. And, and it's not like, but at this point, you know, when it comes to sort of curating what I'm doing, I can't, I, you have to choose between, uh, I, I would say money and integrity in a way. You can find a balance too. You can actually find a balance. So I take that back. How do I want to put this? As my own, actually, I'm not my own agent. Allie would be like, Emma, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, yeah. She's, she's, she's like, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> yeah. Here's but what I, I know did. what you're saying. Like, even because yeah. again, we have the same agent for people who don't know. Yes, we do, Allie, have, we do share an agent. She's the best. The best. She's the best. Um, but we also like that is a relationship that you you're collaborative in. Like totally. You know, like it's it's not a one sided relationship. You are a big part of that relationship. Yes. Of what you say yes to, what you say no to you, what what you even ask her to go find you, you know, like mm -hmm. you, you, she has to understand your psyche so well to yeah. to bring you opportunities and even to represent you in the market. So yes, I understand. Like I feel like that on our behalf of like mm -hmm. I'm I'm the agent. Uh, with Allie. Yes. You know. Like, I yeah. think overall for me, I, I try to do things that I'm like, this is cool. Like, that, it's simply that. Yeah. Like, this feels like something I would do for free. That's... You can't ever say that on a phone call, though. You can't oh go. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah. Go, I know. Oh my god. Retract I, that. From, I love this. Cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Allie's like Emma. What are you doing? <laughs> I love this opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Do you mind if we just do this one for free? Yeah, literally, yeah. literally. <laughs> you know how I'll take a phrase. We heard her on Colin and Samir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said if she says yes, like she just wants to do it. It's just yeah. cool. <laughs> literally every deal <laughs> moving forward. Yeah, yeah. my rate just went down a lot. Um, it, but it should feel obvious. Yeah. Like, oh my God, obviously totally. I want to work with them because I'm a genuine fan or like, I've actually, I've discovered, I've discovered things through brand deals. Like my favorite sheets right now that I'm wearing. That was a hmm. podcast sheets ad Sheets that read. you're wearing, did you say? Sheets that are in my bed. That was not what I meant to say. Oh, I was the like, I don't know. I don't know in what is bed. in on fashion right now. Maybe no. you're wearing sheets. Well, I don't the know. bed sheet is super in this season. <laughs> no. Got it. Um, my bed sheets right now got sent to me because it, it was like a potential ad read. Uh, they're my favorite sheets I've ever had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. we, I'm with you. I understand. You know that. what I'm saying? Like we totally. discover these things, yeah, but yeah. I think ultimately, like at this point, I, I want it to be so organic and so like, like an obvious yes. What does like? Because when you bring up the when I watch you do. Um, brand deals now and you work with brands, it's done in such a different fashion than, you know, what, what we do, which is typically, you know, an integration on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, maybe there's some social content or short form content, but when you do it, it's, it's almost like, um, I don't even know how it's done. It's done in such a different way. You mean like the Canon? Yeah. Canon was super cool. There's, um, even like Lancome or like some of the other beauty brands that you work with, it's done more in like a just association way where it's like we are mm -hmm. associated with Emma. Emma is, you know, part of this, you know, this thing we're doing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like intangible. Um, it's, it is it is a different, it's, it's more, now it's more like, 
almost like campaigns in a yeah. way. Like it, mm-hmm. it's more like campaign based. I, I feel like there's more creativity in it a lot of times. Like, for example, let's say I have to do an Instagram post for Longcomb. Um, or I don't have to, I get to. I, I, you know, I get to do like a cool photo shoot, like vibe, not photo shoot, but like I get to do like, let's say I'm like taking my own content. I now get to have fun, like creating a, yeah, an uh-huh. image that's totally. gonna not only be cool to me where I'm like, this is a cool image, like I'd pin this on Pinterest or something, but also it also displays the product in a way that's through my lens. Mm. And getting that opportunity is so much more fun for me. Um, you know, YouTube integrations are great too, but they are they can be tough because it can be hard to add your own sort of personality into it. Do you know Drew Gooden? Yeah, of course. course. The best fucking ad read. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he like, Hilarious. he makes me feel like shit about every brand deal I do because yeah. I'm like, that is... Uh, that's a real yeah. area where mm-hmm. I am very envious. When I watch a creator, we were watching Colt Kerwin do his mm-hmm. OnePlus for a phone. And like, he's just so seamless and it's so calm and mm-hmm. relaxed yeah. and, and it fits in the video. Cody and, like, and we, Noel are like that too. Yeah. yeah. Cody and totally. Noel on mm-hmm. TMG, I mean, they just sometimes make fun of the brand. You yes. know, but and you're like, but how, how are clearance you? On how that? Did you yeah, I, I was so playing one for Colin. I was like, how did, did the brand approve this? Or are they just like, you know what you're buying, like it's us, it's Cody and Noel. And it makes so it good. way more memorable when you hear them do it. Well, it also like, now that the fourth wall has been broken and everybody knows how ad reads work, whether yeah. you're in the space or not. Yeah. It's almost like, like I think people who aren't even, who don't work in our, in our space would hear an ad read like that and be like, that's iconic. Like they right. let yeah. them yeah. say this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the best everyone companies, knows, you know, yeah. Yeah, the best brands are super open to that. Yeah. Because they're like, yeah, just deliver it. It's like, so much better to be like self-aware because yeah. you're so right. Every audience member knows what a brand deal sounds like. They yeah. know where it is. Like you can't fool them into it of like, yeah, oh, here yeah, you are. Yeah. Like, no, it's just, is what it is. It's I here. think yeah. brands are going to have to shift up the way that they do brand deals soon on YouTube especially. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I think on podcasting, there's something weird. And I do my, it. Because I have on my podcast, I do ad reads. Yeah, of course. I yeah. mean, I though, as a consumer of podcasts, yeah. I don't skip ads. I don't know why. Really? Yeah, I think it's just I like the host, and maybe because I'm in this business and I want to hear how the host is delivering it. But the amount of products I've purchased from a podcast ad. Yeah, actually, me too. Like, I trust yeah. podcasters so much yeah. when it comes to products that I'm, when they deliver it with like, Honesty, it's just like, yeah, okay, that I'd give that a try. Sure. You didn't advocate for adult Legos. And I'm like, <laughs> yes. I'm I'm so close. <laughs> I have like, one right now in my garage that I can't wait to start. Yeah. It's like, see, but that's the thing about podcasting too. It's like and YouTube too. It's such a different way of doing collaborations with brands because it's much more short short term a lot of times. Yeah, true. Sometimes you'll do like a year long sort of thing where it's like doing four videos for X over the course of the year. And that's more of a campaign sure, sure. sort of style of, of doing things. But it's very different. It's a very different way of working with brands because it's it's short lived. Um, it's It's much more like getting the word out. Yeah, I really like it actually. Also, Typically, the products are super cool and you want them, right? So, Always. Like, yeah, they're like I consumable so, yes. or they're like just, they're just nice products. Yes. I think everything's also more comfortable without visuals. If there's not a visual, it's just like, I don't know, visuals sometimes get in the way. And I think it's why they get really awkward on YouTube. Because yeah. you have to pair a visual with every mm-hmm. single moment. And you're watching this creator who, even if they want to be doing it, they just interrupted, for the most part, their story. Like, whatever they were doing, yeah. they interrupted it. That was why I had a really hard time with doing, like, as much as, it, it it was really hard to fit in uh, brand deals into, into my videos at a certain point. Because I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to stop this. It's like if you, it, I didn't want to stop the flow. 
Like it yeah, really, yeah. And, and the I, numbers yeah. get, you know, absurd for mm -hmm. for someone who starts out and is not making any money, and then you get offered large sums of money, and you're like, and I know how to do that. Yeah. It's not like a problem you don't know how to solve. It's like someone presents you a problem that you know how to solve for a large sum of money. Mm -hmm. It almost feels ridiculous to say no, especially if you have I any had that, yes. level of fear with the career of that it might end. Then you're like, how how dare I say no, mm -hmm. right? And and I think it comes down to not like who's going to pay the most, this, this, and that, but rather who can you combine worlds with at a, t at a you know? This is obviously this is more for. This is not like referring to my podcast, right? Like yeah. the ad reads that yeah, I do yeah, there, yeah. it's much, it's a much different transaction. It's, it's, I like the product. I'm going to do a 60 second read. That's it. Yep. That's it. And I'll talk about why I like it and I, it'll be whatever, but it's, it's very different. The partnerships with like, with Longcomb or Levi's or, or Ritzy are, you know, it's so different because it's more like, yeah, we're like, it's longer term and we're we're kind of collaborating in a way. They have to become a character in your universe. Yeah. And that, especially with an audience like yours where the relationship is similar to a friendship. I also like to feel like I can bring something to the table for them Yeah, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like not only do I love them as they are, but also how can I get involved behind the scenes? Sure. How can I like, how can we do something together? Yeah, how can I bring more than just an introduction to my audience? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. but baseline, it needs to be like, this is a brand right. that I think is cool.